what's up guys this is Tom from Tom's Board Editing here bringing you my second tutorial um, today's tutorial is going to be on how to add basic bumps and flashes in Sony Vegas um, I have my clip here uh, this is my black cinematic bars right here this is the clip and this is the song so let me render that out for you and play it so you can see it So that's just something I put together for this video specifically uh, so that we can get a nice what's it called bounce or bump whatever you want to call it um, and I'm gonna go really in depth with this video um, just because I know what it's like to start out in Sony Vegas and not know what you're doing so let's get started now the first thing you want to do is for each one of these little bumps on or bass hits, whatever you want to call them. On the audio, we're gonna press M on our keyboard to add a marker. Um, normally, I would just play it out and press M whenever I felt I needed a marker. But for now, uh, I'm just gonna do this just because it's easy to see where I need to add a marker. Alright. Now uh, also you wanna press just save a resample on your clip, which I think I already did. Yeah, I already did that. Make sure you always disable resample. Gosh, my phone's going ham. Alright. Now for each one of these uh keyframes. I'm sorry, markers, we want to add a keyframe. So, so we're going to press on that first uh, marker, and we're going to go to this little speech bubble looking thing, and we're going to click Event Pan Crop. And make sure this is selected, uh, always. And also make sure Aspect Ratio is always selected. So for our bump, it's kind of a chill song, so we're going to add a little tiny bump. So just zoom in a little tiny bit like that. That should be good. And then for each one of these markers, we're gonna add a keyframe. So just press this little button right here. It says create keyframe. So click on the marker, press that button. And this is gonna be every single one of our little bumps. Now, to add the actual effect, we're going to click on our first keyframe, and we're going to go one frame before it, right click on this uh, little clip thing, and click restore, and that'll actually add the bump effect. So I'm going to do that for every single one of these keyframes. It does take a little while, mm -hmm. but you can't rush perfection, I guess. All right, and just so it looks nice, uh, second to last keyframe or second to last frame on here, I'm gonna restore it so it fades out real nice. So let's go ahead and pre-render our clip. Press Shift B to pre-render if you don't know that. Let's see what we got. All right, looks nice. So we have the bumps all done now, but to add a nicer looking effect or a nicer looking uh, video, we're gonna add a flash. So to add a flash, we're gonna go to our video effects. We're gonna click on bump map, and it's gonna be up here. And then scroll down to upper right glow, drag that onto the clip, 
click on animate click on the first keyframe and right now it's going to be black because I have a faded in the beginning but bring the bump height down to zero the shininess down to zero ambience up to 500 which is halfway so it's not dark and it's not bright bring this little circle guy about right here just so it's at the top of the, uh, the clip and now uh, you can see the little the bump map or the flash so I'm gonna put it down to zero for right now so that's for the first uh, keyframe now we're gonna click on this marker right here oh, whoops I need this to be down to zero intensity down to zero always and then on those bumps we're gonna bring it up to like 55 just so it looks uh, just so it's kind of a discrete flash so now we're gonna do the same thing we did for our bump we're gonna add a keyframe to each one of these markers so let's click on the marker keyframe Now we're going to do the same thing we did. Click on the first keyframe, one frame before it, bring it down to zero. And we're going to do that for every single one of these again. And it is annoying. It does take a while sometimes. Takes longer than I thought it would. Alright, so now again, second to last keyframe, bring it back down to zero so it fades out nice. We render that for you. I'm gonna pause my uh, screen recorder because it can only record for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna stop it and then restart. The bump was really small, but it looks looks great. Good enough for the tutorial. All right. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, uh, please leave a like and a comment. You know, just give me some feedback. Um, I am hoping to make some more tutorials uh, in the future. Um, this is only my second one. I've been pretty lazy with them. I am coming out with another edit here pretty soon in a couple days and that's going to be one of my, my better ones comparable to the YOLO one I did that was on Ed Editor's Club. So uh, leave me some feedback on the tutorial guys if you want to see more then I'll definitely make more. So uh, thanks guys. This is Tom from Tom's World. See ya.